949 on this Saturday morning. That means it's time to imagine it with the chief scientist from the Imagination Station, Carl Nelson. He's throwing a picnic here with a watermelon. Good morning. <laughs> morning. <laughs> We're going to talk about super hydrophobic surfaces. Hy so they don't like water. They don't like water, exactly. Okay. And I got this. This is a lotus leaf, ah. okay? I got to thank the people at Select Stone on the airport highway. Mm -hmm. They plucked this out of the ground this morning for Ooh, me. Is that, very fresh. is that sacrilege? Because it's a blessed well, lotus. Well, it's hard to get them this time of year. You got to order right. them early. But what's cool about this, take the blue food coloring and water, okay. spray it on the leaf. On the top here? Yeah, just Oh, look at that. Wow. Dude, go Gonzo on it. That, keep spraying it. that is like Rain-X, isn't it? It's, it's <laughs> exactly. It is what's called super hydrophobic. Normally, water droplets, when they hit a surface, won't do that. Okay? So, okay, stop for a second. That, it's very, <laughs> uh, we, we could do that all day. That is very cool. So, let's talk about how that works. Right. Okay? Now, water droplets, when they're in air, typically are roundish in shape, kind of like this watermelon. But much smaller. But much smaller. Yes, this is my model. So, when water droplets hit a clean surface, like some clean glass, they will actually make a droplet that's kind of shaped like that. Right. Low contact angle. They sure. spread out, right? So if we were to pour some water on this, it just makes a big puddle. Not very interesting. Gotcha. But if you had a waxed surface, like the hood of your car, okay, then the water droplet's going to form a really high contact angle. It makes those little those droplets, right, that, that blow off. Right. And what's interesting about that is the lotus leaf doesn't just do that. This angle might be like 90 degrees or so. The lotus leaf can do like 170 degree contact oh, wow. angle. At that high of an angle, what that means is there's only about 1% of the water drop still in contact with the leaf. Oh my gosh. So anything, any dirt, anything will just shoot just rolls right, off. right off that. Now, chemists have come up with some manufactured products that can, you can apply as a spray that mimic what the lotus leaf does, like okay? Rain -X. Like Rain-X, never wet. <laughs> and what I've done here is I've coated a piece of glass with some of the hydrophobic liquid. Go ahead and take this blue water and, and like gently a magician, pour it. You, you were distracting us while you flipped this glass around. That's so right. We tried the so other surface. The other side now. Just, Just go ahead and treated. pour the water. Keep it flat. Okay. Pour the water on there. I've masked oh, off wow. an area on the top that is in the shape of 13, okay? And that so the, is bizarre. If, we, if we're really <laughs> careful here, it may be hard to see on the camera, but we no, can I almost get like a quarter inch of liquid piled up on top of oh, there. Oh, wow. And it, it, it stays right there. Oh, that's like jello. of the hydrophobic <laughs> nature of the liquid of the glass out here, right? That stuff, it just, it won't stick. Wow. And so you'd say, why do you need this kind of stuff? Why would you ever need a super hydrophobic surface? Because it's fun. It's fun. And, <laughs> and, okay, if you're a TV station, you have satellite dishes, mm -hmm. you don't want rain to build up on the dish. That's if true. It, if it does what the lotus leaf does, mm -hmm. better reception, right? Right, yeah, sure. Solar panel manufacturers, self-cleaning surface. Yeah. The dirt won't stick there. If you're a fan of white shoes and <laughs> chocolate syrup. Oh no. Right? Oh, that looks terrible. What you, now? You, you try it. What try do we it, do? Try it on the other uh, shoe. Oh, somebody got chocolate syrup on. Well, this one's just fine. Right. It just rolls right <laughs> off. Nothing, nothing is going to stick to it. Not even ketchup. Not even ketchup. It all rolls off. <laughs> <laughs> but perhaps my favorite application would be the toilet bowl brush, okay, right? This is Carl's own infomercial. It's just well, like... <laughs> this, the science behind this is so cool, right? Because normal toilet bowl brush, you bring it out, it drips. You coat one with a super hydrophobic liquid, uh -huh. pull it out, nothing, right? This but, is not, nothing. Yeah, that's what you want. It rolls off. And huh. they're actually manufacturing things like this now with those kinds of coatings. Some really cool science that goes on with super hydrophobic materials. Once again, better living through chemistry. You can get these ketchup proof shoes for only $9.95. The Imagination Station, that's a joke, but you can head on down there and see all kinds of crazy experiments with Carl and his chocolate sauce. That is just crazy. <laughs> it just, just rolls right off. It's so cool. <laughs> this week's Imagine It. Now here's Dave with sports.